Actually, better than the original song, in my opinion. I would literally buy this dude's CD. <laughs> I would buy the mixtape. And then, uh, before uh, the last little thing that I wanted to show you guys before we get into the, the main meat of uh, the actual videos, you know, is that uh, Jim Bob sent me a video of this dude who is a, a hippie. And I think he sent it to me because he knows I do hippie cringe a lot. And so he sends me this video and I go, I know that guy. Me and the Basil Analyzer. So Henley actually sent me this dude like months ago. And we actually caught a live stream and we jumped into the live chat and we started talking to uh, talking to this dude. I haven't pulled it up yet. We started talking to this dude and like making starseed jokes because this guy is literally the starseeds that we always joke about. He acts like the the character that we play a lot. He he's total hippie star seed. We call he's like literally what the fuck's going on out there? He's Boomer Garcia in the flesh. Like Jay's character, Boomer Garcia, he's literally this dude. And uh so when Jim Bob sent me uh, a live stream he did, I thought it was hilarious and uh, I wanted to pull it up on stream. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Mochiwa, Hichiwa. Much respect to all of you, holy ones. Ha, <laughs> you my guy. Asitas, we are awakening, yes. <laughs> it is a celebration. Wow, thank you for that love, holy ones. You're so kind. Look at holy you. Holy ones. Right off the bat, you get positive people, positive energy. It is consciousness. Consciousness, rise in, holy ones. Holy, I call you holy for a reason, yes? Blessings, blessings from the Guardian Alliance. This is the consciousness that we're dealing with. Understand, we're part of this light. And if you call yourself light, then speak light. And act like light. Yes, Machiwa. This is Machiwa. our heritage. This is our connection. Holy yeah. one. <laughs> Dude, this guy is too much, man. He's too much. He's he's literally like he's the star seeds. What's up, star seeds? Holy ones. Whoa. Let me give some shouts outs to all of our homies in the chat. Welcome, Eliano. Always good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Day Jire, Gabriella, Talita, John B, Crispy, John MC, Genghis Khan. What's up, holy ones? What's up? Ayahuacanda. Ha <laughs> ha. Love and light, brother bears. Machine bear. What's up, brother? Holem rock. Tropes. John MC, yo, John MC says, this is the stuff I've been trying to avoid most of my life. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. What's up, Slowboy Whiteboard, Black Party Vintage, Jethro, Mick L. What is up, everybody? So good to see all y'all here. Much love, holy ones. Yeah, it's like John Redcorn. <laughs> dude, it's so bad. Like, what? Come on, dude. What? Anyways, that's not even the worst of it, man. I mean, this is an hour long. That's not even the worst of what we got today. Today we got some we got some some weird stuff to watch. I got a few uh uh gay witches. I got this one dude. Uh let's just let's start off with the with the one dude first actually. We pull up uh oh no, I already have it in a tab. G Gazus. You guys ever hear of this dude before? A place for all the queers of the world. Isn't that great? I know a few people who could really use this channel. I know a few people that uh, that would probably be very happy with this stuff. Um, I want I want to find specifically. He's talking about Gnosticism. I God only knows how many videos this dude has. Actually, it'd probably help me out to just go to my history and find that. Yeah, it's bad, dude. This dude's bad. Uh, who? What is the demiurge? Yeah, apparently this dude's a Gnostic. I guess. Check this out. 
According to Gnosticism, the Most High God did not create the world. No, that was the Demiurge. His name is Soklis, or Samel, which is actually God of the Blind in Arabic. Ch is that great? In case you ever wanted to learn, like, theology, alter alter alternative religion from a gay Jesus. Now you got your wish. Child of Sophia. Sophia had the child without the higher God's consent. But he came out kind of awful, so Sophia, horrified, pushed him out of heaven. And the Demiurge got lonely, so he created the material world and people to control. Yeah, the, the Demiurge, you know, it's, it's, God, it's the God who created the prison planet, the trap for souls. Even putting little sparks of heaven into Adam and Eve. But maybe the biggest crime in Gnosticism is he gave them commandments and then he broke them himself. Wow, hypocrite God. Such as not lying. He lied by saying he's the only God and they should only worship him. So welcome to the world of the Gnostic Christians, where they believe there's a God God and then a creator God who made you. According right, exactly. Total heresy. Total lie. Total stupidity. Gnosis is basically this, like, idea of, um, in Christianity, Gnosis is, is important. It's sort of the, the combination of heaven and earth. It's, you know, Christ being fully man and fully human and, and coming to a knowledge of Christ. You know, human beings being a sort of uh, a physical and a spiritual being at the same time. This sort of divine eros, longing to know God and Christ, longing to know us. And so Gnosis is very important in true Christianity. Uh, Gnostics, though, view Gnosis in a, in a very platonic sense, coming out of the cave, if you will, of Plato's cave. Um, transcending the illusion of Maya, of reality, of physical being. And... Um, to them, Christ is sort of uh, a ghost figure almost. Like he was never fully human because humanity is bad. Physical being is bad. Having a body, you know, that's gross. That's yucky. Matter's bad. And so that's, that's sort of a, a big part of this heresy is the idea that physical matter is bad. And also what comes out of that is the idea of things like sex being bad, you know, a necessary evil like we talked about on some of our early streams. Um, and they also talk about like, oh, well, you know, Christ left his body uh, right before the crucifixion. You know, God wouldn't actually subject himself to that. And these are really insidious lies um, that gained traction very early on in the church. And this is something that like, you know, Adam Green was using in the debate against Posh was talking about because of Gnosticism, you know, Christianity is not true because there were all these false you know, myths and, and false stories perpetuated around at the time that somehow that that um, cancels out Christianity, which is.